Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz. Today we're going to be talking about Ghost, which is a website hosting platform situation. Now, I mentioned this in a, in a few videos ago that I was trying to code my own website and it's a lot more challenging than I thought. So I've been avoiding it, naturally, and I've been doing other things and taking a coding class on the side and work and such. But I wanted to sit down and go through like the ghost basics um, and what I've learned so far and kind of go from there because I've been avoiding it. And I just need to jump in and kind of dive into it and learn. So I have ghost pulled up here. This is the website. So it's ghost.org. And the other video I talked about how to um, buy your own domain and then link it to your, your ghost um, site here. So if I sign in, so I'm going to press sign in. And I'm going to type in my website and it should pop me up in this like dashboard is what they've been calling it. So I'm in the dashboard. I have no freaking idea what the total members means. Like I don't even think you can become a member on my site. It's not a thing. So I don't, I mean, my site is so bad right now. Like it's not even funny, <laughs> but uh Right here, there's just like a bombard of information and I'm like, I don't need all this information. Um, so how it's laid out is you have the my name right here. It's just Liz. You have the dashboard. You can view the site. So this is what it looks like right now. It looks really bad. Just bear with me. Um, then you have these things called posts. Now I have a post called test one because I was trying to test on like what it did. And then you have pages tags, members, which I have no idea like how these people became members, but here they are. They joined, whatever that means. <laughs> and then I have integrations and then staff. So originally when you set this up, you have a person that's like ghost person, blah, 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 and they're your staff and they set up everything. So I deleted them off and then that wiped out all my posts and it looks prettier before I wiped this person out. So if you're planning on not coding it yourself, don't wipe this person out in the staff, just keep them there. And then you'll have access to all the posts and then you just edit the posts and put pictures in the posts and stuff. So you'd like open this up and it's just like writing, you know, so you can do a plus and you can add images and YouTube videos and anything you want within the post. So that's what you're going to do if you're, if you don't want to code it yourself. So, um, mine was just a test. So what you do is you're going to see the, a list of posts here and you're just going to edit them however you want. And that's your website. Um, but you have, a basically an option on changing the theme. So I'm assuming that you guys don't want to code your own stuff. I will start with non-coding first. Basically, you're going to go into the dashboard and there's this thing called brand, email, and theme on customizing your own site. So you're going to go to brand. <clears throat> when you're in brand, you can go to theme and you can pick any of these themes. These are the free ones. So I think I'm using Casper. Now you could install this one or this one or this one, depending on what your site to what your site, what you want your site to look like. So if you want your site to look more like this, then install this one. Um, and, and then you can view more and you could buy different templates. So if I, if my coding situation fails, I might just buy a template <laughs> or I might buy a template and edit the code and upload it is kind of what I'm thinking. So here you would pick a theme or you can upload a theme of your own. So if we go back, that's how you change the theme, right? And then here, if you go into branding, this is how I got, I changed the background. Originally it was like this pink kind of color if you watched my other video. So I picked um, a background, so you can upload a logo, you can upload an icon, you can put in your accent color, my accent color, I'm making it black, <laughs> like my soul. Um, anyway, so here we have, so we have all these options. So this is how you change all that. And then you go and save and close. So play around with that and see what you want your site to look like. And then the, here's some other general navigation, membership, email newsletter, and kind of go into here. So if you're looking for non-coding, just pick a theme, brand your site a little bit using branding, and then edit your posts within posts. So you could edit it and add pictures or whatever, um, and don't delete out that author that I deleted. <laughs> I wish I could show you what happened, but I was going rogue. 
Um, now, if you want to code your own site, um, I am looking, there's this thing called uh, creating a custom homepage with Ghost. So I'm going to need to read through this and figure this out because this is what I want to do. I have, I'm taking a class on she codes on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and I want to build my own website. I want the street cred. I don't want to use a template. I want to either edit the template and make it my own or just code my whole thing from scratch. So I need to read through this and figure out how I can do that because that is like a project that I want to do. Um, so they kind of have some steps here. This is a fantastic place to go if you have questions about Ghost or any anything you have here. So you have all kinds of stuff on the left. For more advanced users, if you're just looking to put something on the internet and you don't really want to mess with code, don't worry about that. Um, but I'm going to have separate videos on my journey to code my own website. So um, right now I have not started because I'm in the middle of my class. I am three weeks in. <laughs> And it's been rough. I, well, I guess technically, I think this week's my fourth week. Um, so I'm almost halfway done. Um, but but like I said, you're, you don't need code if you want like a standard website. I'm going to go through this and I will be posting along my journey of trying to code my own, mainly because I want the bragging rights. Um, so anyway, I hope this helps. And now you kind of know how to navigate your stuff and make, sh make it so like, you don't have to code and you're not super confused. I have not died or dove into the, any of the rest of these. Um, so I'm not quite sure some of the other kind of things that you can edit. I just know the main ones is you're gonna wanna change the theme and the branding and that's about it. Um, anyway, if you guys have any questions or if you guys know how to uh, code and upload a template of your own to Ghost, um, comment below because I need help. And I've been terrified to continue this, but I'm taking a class and it's gonna be okay. So anyway, comment below if you're working on kind of the same issues that I am. And I hope this helps you guys.